Hey guys, it's Danny here, and once again, it's another late night, and I just want to shoot this quick video just before I head out for a swim. As you can see, I'm already in my swimming trucks and my slippers, and I'm just, just about to head out, but I just want to shoot this quick video because uh, not many times you see this, but sometimes you do. Anytime you have a a lazy technician or just an inexperienced one and just wants the quick money and just wants to leave quickly um, So right now I'm working on this under counter cooler here and Just before I sell it to my customer as you guys can see it's at 35 35 degrees and I'm having a small issue with this now. I've seen this in the field a couple times but the problem I'm having with this under counter is that the temperature range inside is quite big. Right now it goes down to 32 degrees and then turns back on at, at 45, which is obviously too much of a gap for me to actually want to sell this fridge to a customer because I know that in the long run the customer might complain. So usually what this tells me whenever there's a big gap in the differential, it's called, in the, in the two temperatures in which the compressor turns on and off, uh, what that tells me is that there's a problem with the thermostat. So in this case, I opened up the thermostat at the cabinet of the cooler and I take a look at the thermostat as you can see it's over there and by first glance you can well I don't know if it's obvious to you but it's not an OEM thermostat so the technician who worked on this before me was lazy and didn't want to install the OEM one so that tells me that there is a uh, problem with the thermostat and Therefore, because it's not for this cabinet, that's why I'm reading the large temperature range. So, luckily, with these thermostats, there is something you can do to tweak it and make the differential, the temperature differential, smaller. So, I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can see what I see, and I'm gonna show you what to do in every situation you have this type of thermostat working on any kind of equipment and you want to adjust the temperature differential. So let's get started and I will see you in just a second. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take off the cover for this thermostat. Now keep in mind guys, this only works for these Johnson Control thermostats. So yeah, not all thermostats have this little adjustment thingy. So once you unscrew that, what you want to look for is this little thing here, this little tab here, this minimum maximum. And now the minimum is the uh, what, what if you pull this tab towards the minimum side, that makes your temperature differential smaller. What that means that if it was right now, it turns on and off. If it turns, if the compressor turns on at say 45 degrees Fahrenheit and turns off at 40 degrees Fahrenheit, if I make it smaller, the, uh, the cut in will be lower. So that means that the compressor would start at 42 rather than 45 as it was earlier and now if you go to the max the cut in will be larger so it would be 48 rather than 44 or 45 in this case since my temperature gap is too much it's too big what I'm going to do is go to and shift this little tab towards the minimum side and yeah that's all you have to do now the compressor will turn off turn on and off faster meaning 
our temperature differential is smaller and the temperature inside our cooler is now going to be less. It's going to be, there's going to be a smaller gap. It's going to be hopefully between 33 and 39. So now I'm just going to close this, close the door, and now just wait. Right now it's at 40 because I left the door open. I'm just going to wait and yeah. So that is how you adjust the temperature range on any kind of system that uses a Johnson Control thermostat.